Calm down. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make this Tumblr inspired DIY embroidered t-shirt. I've seen these all over the internet as well as from like Brandy Melbo and Urban Outfitters for like way ridiculous prices. Like why would I pay $50 for a white t-shirt with some black embroidering thread? So today I'm gonna teach you how to do it for really cheap. So let's get into it. Flop! You will need some embroidery floss, a pair of scissors, an embroidery needle or just a very thick needle will also work. Some reinforcement fabric or any piece of scrap fabric and a random t-shirt. Mine is from Romwe. <sighs> Buddy approves of the embroidery frost as you can see. So the first thing I did is draw on my quilt onto my shirt and my quote that I chose says, love hurts without you. Um, don't worry about your handwriting or what it looks like. It is going to be messy and that is the whole point. Then I took my reinforcement fabric. Felt would be better, but if you don't have it, you can just use a piece of spare t-shirt. This makes it so that the fabric doesn't buckle underneath the stress of the embroidery floss, so it's very important. It will not look very good if you do not have a piece of reinforcement fabric. Then I put this bowl inside my shirt so that I did not sew two sides of my shirt together because that wouldn't be good. Once again, shirt is buddy approved. Bye buddy. Then I got a long, long piece of my embroidery thread. The longer the better, you don't wanna run out midway. And then I just started embroidering. I always go in through the front and through the back and through the front and through the back. It's a process. I'm not gonna teach you how to embroider because I myself don't know how. Um, there's hundreds of YouTube tutorials for it, but it's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy and straightforward. If you want thicker letters, you can double the embroidery floss in half, but I liked, I liked them to be thinner, even though I did use the thickest embroidery floss that I had. And this is the finished product. You can do this on shirts and hats and jean pockets. It's all up to you. So yeah, that is it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you try out this DIY yourself, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter with your pictures because I'd love to see what cool quotes you put on your shirt. I chose a really good quote that I like that says, love hurts without you. I think it's like really cute and deep and... <clears throat> I have cool clothes now. Also, if you're wondering where I got this t-shirt, it is a gray gradient t-shirt, and I got it from romwe.com. I will link it in the description below. It's a cool t-shirt even without the embroidering on it, so. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Fwah!